Hey there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Well, for today's video, um, I kind of don't want to do this video because it's freaking me out, but I got some new ink and I, when I opened it up, it's got white stuff floating in it and it's been shaken up a little bit more so you can kind of maybe see a little bit on the center there if I don't keep shaking it up but it had like one two three spots of it and I'll post a picture of that and then it also has like really crusty stuff on the sides if you can tell right there um anyway just freak me out because I just bought this actually I didn't buy it I got it for my birthday and so um kind of flipped me out because on the edge of the cap there's not anything other than right there you can tell there's also some sort of growth so I'm thinking it's mold and um, some of the stuff that I heard online and read online is if you think it's mold then you better take care of it and don't go dipping your pen into any other inks because you could then transfer that mold and infect your other inks so you kind of want to be careful and then um, my background is actually microbiology, which comes in handy at times like this because, again, you want to abate. It's not a bacterial infection, but it's a um, it is a mold. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of the fungus um, because those can spread from ink to ink. So. Um, Kind of flipped me out a little bit but then i remembered you know what bleach kind of kills everything and so what you don't want to do and this is with my fpr uh, ultra flex which was giving me headaches anyway um so i'm not too like devastated because it's not like my pal my pilot falcon falcon yeah or falcon um if you combine that so what i did was i put uh, the only like real bleach stuff I had on hand other than the powder which I don't want to put in was this Clorox cleaner and bleach and so I actually was able to drop by drop um, put in about five drops into I don't know about a half a cup of water and it was just cold tap water and what I did was I took my pen um, I took all the ink out of it and then I just kind of um, you know move the converter up and down let me go here so just moving the converter up and down so that you are um, really getting trying to get a good fill in your converter and this is a, a very good fill right there and so and also just kind of tapping it so I can get it on the bottom part of I'm going to close this ink before I spill it because you know how that goes or maybe you don't know how it goes it goes like that for me because I've already spilled it and moving it out of the way. Okay, so i um, trying to tap it so that you can, I don't know if you saw that bubble go up, so that you're getting it on the bottom uh, of the converter and just kind of moving it, moving that bubble up and down. If I can stay in the camera shot, that would be helpful. There we go. And then letting that soak. I'm probably gonna just let it soak for the day. Uh, that's way more than enough. Uh, just a few hours would be overkill anyway. And you definitely don't wanna leave your pen in it uh, overnight or over multiple days. So even though it's a dilute solution, you want to be careful that you're not keeping your pen in any kind of a cleaner or a bleach, any kind of hard chemicals. Um, so normally, if you're interested, what do I clean my pens with? Um, I have a pen flush that I purchased. I think it's from Goulet. And then we also have a pen flush from Pen Chalet. Same, same um, idea behind that. And then, honestly, my lazy way to not even get the pen flush out, what I normally do is I clean it with Dawn dish detergent, just one drop, and um, clean out my pen really well, rinse it out really well. Um, let it air dry on a paper towel and that's what I'm going to do next so I'm going to let this sit for today and then I will clean it out with water and clean it out with Dawn so that I don't have any bleach remnants and that should take care of everything but um, just to be careful I'm going to start off with a 
I'll fill my pen with probably a uh, sample vial of something. So in case it gets infected or I get bleach somewhere else, uh, I'm not going to be too devastated. That's going to be a big old thing of ink like this one. So again, just using caution. Uh, I'm not positive it's mold, but it it looks like it. And if you live in a humid climate like we do, we've had major weather changes here and lots of humidity, so it could be mold. So anyway, hope this is a helpful video for um, you if you panic and find out you have mold in your in your pen. It's not the end of the world and you don't have to destroy your pen. Just clean it and clean it out gently. So with that, um, till next time.